Hello fellow investors, Joe here. It is time to talk about our favorite stock, Tesla. It is an exciting day today because the Tesla Q3 earnings are out. I listened to the conference call and I looked over the slide deck and let me tell you, they killed it this quarter. This is one of their best quarters ever. And I'm focusing on technical analysis, not the fundamentals, but at the very end of this Short video, I will talk about the fundamentals for just a minute or so, but there are plenty of YouTubers, other YouTubers that go over it in detail. So let's talk about the chart. and We need to make a game plan for the next few days. Here we see the one-year chart of Tesla, and I've added um, a yellow congestion zone here. So um, the all-time high is at 900, and you see there's a big congestion zone right around the beginning of 2021. And pre-earnings, we ran, we ran up into that zone. Now there are um, many, many buyers over here who've been holding for, you know, 10 months, who are mad as a hornet, and they are so glad to be able to sell for at break even and get their money back. And also, there are many traders like myself who see this congestion zone and anticipate that and know that there's going to be a sell-off and so some of them sell so it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy so my point is we are going to see a lot of resistance um, between say well right now and 900 so as you know Tesla ran up uh, quite a bit here's here is this the Q2 quarterly report and other than some normal oscillations, it ran up at a 45 degree angle for three months. So I anticipate um, a sell the news event. And I anticipate just a slight pullback, um, you know, maybe one to three percent. And if you look at Tesla after hours, it's negative one point six four. That's, um, you know, that's kind of what I expected. Not because the results were terrible. They were fantastic but because um, they did what the smart investors thought they would do. So the question is, what do we do now? Well, hopefully you already have shares. Um, and in that case, let's just sit tight for a day or two or three. Um, if not, or if you want to add, let's talk about that. So what I think will happen if the market stays in a generally positive condition, which it has been the last week. Do you see this little gap here? I think that we will drift sideways, slide lower a little bit, and fill that gap, and touch back up with this eight-day moving average. See this blue line? That's the eight-day exponential moving average. I think we'll probably retouch that, and then resume the uptrend. Now, if we see general market weakness, or, um, you know, if it's just weaker than I expect, then we could see a retouch of this 21-day exponential moving average. That's the red line. But we made a nice cap on this breakout right here in early October, right around 800. This is going to offer some strong support here. So I doubt that a pullback will go down below 800. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to set a buy limit right around here at about 845 and pick up a little bit um, here when it closes the gap. I might set another buy limit way down here at like maybe 807, 808 just in case we see a big pullback. I don't think that that's going to hit. But if the market turns south, um, you never know. And now this is catching a falling knife and in general you don't want to do that. But Tesla's fundamentals are so strong and Unless something happens to Elon, heaven forbid, or he suddenly decides to divest himself from Tesla and move entirely to SpaceX, I, I don't see anything but positive price momentum for Tesla for the next few months. And therefore, I'm comfortable trying to catch the falling knife, so to speak. Ordinarily, you would want to wait for a bounce off of a support line. For example, right here, you wouldn't set your buy limit um, what is this, six, well, whatever it is, you wouldn't set your buy limit here, but you would wait for this bounce. 
you buy it at a slightly higher price. So, yeah, in conclusion, I think we sit tight for a day or two or three, and ideally what we see is we see the price settle down, um, we see this ex overextension resolve itself, and then we see uh, a retest of nine a, a retest of the all time high at nine hundred, and then put on a handle and then push through. That's the ideal scenario. That's my technical analysis. And if you're still with me, let's just look at the fundamentals just for a minute or so. Let's see. So this is a software program called MarketSmith. Um, it's a subscription. It's a subscription service, and it gives you the fundamentals. Um, all at a glance. It's really amazing. It is kind of expensive though. But what I want to show you is they have added the Q3 revenue and earnings numbers. So revenue went up 57% year to year. That is spectacular growth for a large cap company. And earnings went up 145% year to year. I don't need to tell you that that's pretty good, right? Um, the four quarters of revenue growth, we see plus 46, plus 74, plus 98, plus 57. That's outstanding. And earnings growth, we see plus 95, plus 304, plus 230, plus 145. Guess what? That's outstanding, too. And if you look at the annual EPS, 2019, 3 cents. Wow. 220, 2002, 2020, $2.24. 2021, $5.42. 2022, $7.50 per share. Now, here's what's scaring everyone. The P.E. ratio of 221. That's pretty high, right? Uh, it's really high. But just a quarter or two ago, that was at 1,000. Um, I should do a video comparing the P.E. ratio of Amazon and Apple and Tesla and Microsoft all that and all that. Um, but I can't really do that here. What else can we say? I, they made like $3 billion before capital expenditures, and they spent about a billion dollars on their factories and so forth. So they pocketed $2 billion, billion with a B. That is, they made a ton of money. They're sitting on $16 billion in cash. They had about $20 billion, and they spent it to pay off some high interest debt, which was a pretty good idea. So Tesla is, is really strong right now. And I think we all are excited for uh, Tesla's future. All right, that's my video for today. Uh, this is a brand new channel. I just started making videos. I really would appreciate it if you would like and subscribe. And if you want to get notified when my videos come out, press the little bell um, button next to the subscribe button. Uh, what do you think is going to happen the rest of the week? Give me a comment and let me know. Is it going to go up or is it going to go down? All right. Good luck, everybody.